Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man, we got a 2K dev talking about the defense, you know, the gameplay in general, man. So we're gonna break this down. An unfiltered, unbiased perspective, unlike these um billion dollar company dick suckers, these double twist gawkers, you know. I'm giving you my real opinion, man, and um I'm never wrong. <laughs> So, I mean, take it for what you want. I've been playing 2K longer than any of you and whatever. Anywho, make sure y'all hit that like button. Helps the vet out a lot. And let me know if you are excited for defense in uh, 2K23, man. Guys, listen to this, man. <laughs> listen to this. Listen to this. Um, I usually don't leave these videos up long. I learned over the years <laughs> that if I do a video pre-release, and then, you know, six months after the game, somebody sees that video, obviously with patches, things have changed. So I usually don't leave the videos up too long. Um, because that information can change. Look, bro, you know why he really doesn't leave the videos up? Look, man, I'm here to break the Genjutsu. I'm here to break the infinite Tsunami, my For all you stupid niggas that is blaming the community for the game. It's the devs. It's their job to balance it. I don't know what's wrong with you, dumb. Niggas. It's their job. Like, you know, like, come on, you pressuring the wrong, niggas, right? You pressuring niggas where it's never gonna change. If niggas always get replaced, even if they stop, niggas gonna get replaced. Niggas always gonna find cheese. It is the devs' job to balance the game. This. Is telling you he's deleting his videos that means mike wayne probably do that shit oh they probably do that shit they delete their tweets they delete probably certain articles explaining their game and then you go and look about what they said and be like bro this shit is not even in the game like it was never like this and then if they leave that shit up what what does that show shows they're liars bro that they're basically just marketing the game and it's not really what they say it is Okay, sure, if 21% are playing the game, it might look like that. But when better players are playing the game, it's going to look different, especially once they figure the game out. It's their job to balance the game, not fucking, fucking YouTubers that you niggas hate so much for no reason. It is the fucking dev's job to balance the game, bro. I'm trying to stress that shit to you. You're crazy, bro. But yeah, th this just shows that, that that they know that they on a tired ass engine, my boy, and <laughs> and they know they be about the bullshit. So y'all niggas that be listening to these niggas thinking that like all this is going to happen, you're tripping, okay? I'ma give you exclusive information right now. That new adrenaline feature, that shit's gonna be mad buggy. It's gonna be glitchy. It is a new feature. Every time something new is added, it's always broken, okay? So be ready for that. Just letting you know. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I have to do so many disclaimers. Look, you don't like me. You don't got to watch my videos, nigga. First of all, bitch, move on, nigga. It's not like I'm pulling 100K, bro. Get off my dick. <laughs> Hating in the comments is something like you got to watch my videos. Like I'm making some impact that's changing the world and shit. I'm not doing shit, nigga. Uh, and I think I mentioned talking about it on the defensive side. Okay. So right now, let me clean that up. Right clean now, adrenaline up. is only on offense, but. Hey, y'all know I was the first nigga to talk about uh, how the adrenaline was on defense, right? You know? <laughs> I I hear no one else talk about that shit. You know, I, I've been told niggas that shit. We are considering some different options, and so that may change by the time on the, the game. Offense. You guys actually get your hands. I, I heard it's on the defense too, so I mean they might take that shit out. Like I'm telling you, it's very experimental. The same with the stamina shit. Like they're showing that for a reason. That's why I'm making videos about it, cause I don't want no weak ass stamina, my nigga. You know, I don't want a trash ass slow game, bro. Speed gap, you know, skill gap type shit. You might not think that cause you lack you know, the skill or whatever, but they just gotta buff the D. But, um, you know, according to like what I'm hearing, bro, you go for a steal, um, you lose one of your adrenaline shits, right? You tap R2, you lose one of your adrenaline shits. You go for a block, you lose one of your adrenaline shits. So it's like, 
You know, it could be a little OD, nigga. Like, how are they? What's confusing to me is how are you going to buff defense? But if a nigga goes for a reach, he loses that. But then at the same time, if he presses R2, he loses a bar. Or maybe when they don't press R2, they don't lose a bar. And then when they jump, they lose a bar. Like, someone can lose all this shit, and this game could look real slow real quick. I don't know. I don't know. It could look crazy. It's definitely going to need some tuning, especially 2K. Come on, bro. They going to be able to handle something like that? I don't know, man. But it seems interesting. Hopefully, it's a dope feature. Like, it's definitely a great... I think it's definitely a great thing to add. But it has to be balanced or it could just be ass. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. It's on the game. But as of right now, today, adrenaline is just for offense. Defense, you do have uh, the stamina bar. And you can uh -huh. see right now the adrenaline buttons on defense, but they don't drain. But again, that could change. Guys are still okay. tuning in and, and talking and receiving feedback and making okay. decisions. I want to clean that up real quick. Yeah, clean and that up. And then today, I just want to talk a little bit about the, the body ups. When we uh, go back to the... Uh, all right, so in the blog under uh, on-ball defense, it says uh, for the floor game, on the on-ball defensive movement and body ups received a major refresh. Major refresh. Hopefully. See, a lot of y'all, bro, be honest with yourself. Are you good at the game? Do you really understand it? Like, have you ever been good at any video game at a high level, bro? Be honest with yourself. Like, I could be honest with myself. I know I'm pretty good. At multiverse for how much I played it. I am not the coldest on that bitch. I will get washed. Nigga, a nigga could four stock me. Like, I know my level. A lot of people in the 2K community, for some reason, y'all niggas think you're way better than you are. Just because this relates to, like, real life and shit like that. You're not, bro. And it's fine. It's fine. But understand that when niggas is like comp and all that stuff and all that, you know, but 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 as I was going to say, bro, all that dribbling shit that y'all don't want, all that fast stamina, all that twitchy movement, all that could be solved with the right body ups and defense of of animations and gameplay bro if a nigga zigzagging and you fucking cut him off and you body that nigga and you riding his fucking hip nigga then what's all that speed for if you can stop the nigga and predict them two times and you got like real d on the nigga nigga then all that zigzag it dissipates nigga you feel me it goes away the defense has been so bad, not because the offense, because of the defense, nigga. That's their engine. That that's, that's them, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> With new content that more accurately depicts today's one-on-one -on -one player interactions, right? And so you you get that one sentence, and a lot of people may read over that. Okay, okay, talk to me. Tell me. May not something. understand the significance of it. So I want to talk a little bit about it today. Significant. And again, this is as the game stands today. Uh oh. This it's... might change a little bit by launch. Disclaimer. Change a little bit after launch. <laughs> uh, but, Disclaimer. Uh, Come on, scissor. All right, so one of the changes that uh, we want to make with the body ups is looking at today's NBA game. All right, so one of the changes that uh, we want to make with the body ups is okay. looking at today's NBA game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is not the, the 90s, the, 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 you know, this is not the 80s, 90s where you no can really hand check and, and Hey, I hand check in real life. Nigga, 97, 1% in real life. Y'all niggas talking crazy. What's up? Let's 1v1 for some bread, nigga. And, 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 and box somebody up more so uh -huh. in a one-on-one -on -one defensive situation, right? And so what we wanted to do was uh, look at how the body ups function. And what we found is that a lot of our users use the body ups as a crutch, right? Huh? The, the the badge their players up or whatever, or if you're playing five on five. Nigga, this shit don't even work. What are you talking about? Up with the NBA players, find somebody who's got good badges, and then you'll just constantly run into the offensive player and wait Facts. for the body up to happen. Yeah, right. But, but today's I don't know NBA what you game is that. not about aggressive defenders, right? Facts. Because you don't have that hand check. Yeah, he he's right about that. But I mean, I don't know what the point is. 
He's right. That, that shit be mad unrealistic. A nigga will press the fuck out of you, bro. Keep going for a bump still, right? And you know what's so funny? It be the niggas that complain the most about offense, niggas zigzag ability while they're playing like cheesy ass defense, desperately trying to get a bump still. The second anybody dribble, they're like OD pressing. But then when a nigga go dunk every play, he's a rim runner, you know, like. I don't know, bro. You you can't win with this uh, community. But niggas, niggas don't be, like, pressing like that. There should definitely be some sort of penalty to that. But at the same time, if defense isn't good, then you, you can't really penalize that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Like as a weapon, really it's about playing position. And it, it, today's game has more of a flow to it Facts. in terms of players okay, driving to the basket. You really can't keep anybody out the paint um, because you can't lay a hand on them, right? Okay, and so scissor. we want to create more of a oh. flow with our body. Paint defense confirm ass. <laughs> Bro, I keep hearing shit from niggas that played the game that are very good and niggas that made the game, bro. Um, you know, in, in private conversations and such. Bro, um, hearing paint defense is finally OP. I'm hearing it's finally good. I'm hearing you don't have to jump anymore. Then I keep hearing from other devs that paint defense is non-existent just by, like, what they're implying. I don't know what to think, man. <laughs> Body up system. So, in the past... As you can see, number five here, Paxson, right? In the past, we had a very wide window to be considered driving right at the defense. So it really rewarded everybody on defense to just stay as close to the dribbler as you possibly could, right? Facts. Because you're going to get a body up and it's going to it's going to save you in most instances. And a lot of people think, well, well hey, man, that's great defense. I'm, I'm locking you up. Really, the <laughs> body up is doing most of the work. Mm. And what we found is okay. that the angle that we had here was super wide for the offensive player to be considered driving directly into the defense. Okay. And so what we did this year, if you can imagine... 45 degrees on this side and 45 degrees on that side, right? Maybe even out to 50 degrees. If you pointed your stick in any of those directions, you were considered running into the defense. The facts. Which means that the body ups were overpowered, uh, right? So what we did was we narrowed that. I don't know, bro, because in the right hands, bro, they swiveling around them shits, bro. To be honest, man, maybe not like normal niggas, but like the niggas that everyone like is bitching about crazy they swiveling around that shit bro so i don't know if if they talking about making it to where body ups is less nigga y'all niggas saying left right eliminated nigga oh we gonna see that window all right and the, the size of the window can change so i'm not gonna give you an exact number but it's much smaller than what it used to be and so what that means is, is as an offensive player, if I give you a little move left, right, left, correct, and then I shoot off right over here, mm. that's no longer considered pointing my stick directly at you. Mm. Whereas in the past, it was. So you Crabs OP. Crabbing OP. Hey, man, this, this is saying it's going to be crazy crabs. The most OP year for crabs, the easiest year to crab. It might have been 2K21 current gen, bro, to be honest. Oh, no, bro. You were guaranteed to get a body up there if you were just in decent position and you have decent ratings and you got decent reaction skills. Okay. Well, this year, that's not going to be the case. Okay. All right. And then when you add on top of that, the defensive shading, yes, you get a bonus if I ran directly into your chest, right? But that window area is smaller now. So as a defender, they saying they patch low key like bump steals. They saying they patch niggas pressing. That should be so annoying when you're a PG and shit. But um, we gonna see, bro. If you wanna do a uh, uh, block that front lane and get the bonus that comes with being in the in in the shaded position in the position where the offensive player is moving or trying to drive, right? 
uh, your, your ability to 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 use the left stick and to use your defensive skills to stay in that spot it's really going to be tested because if I as number five now stump point my stick right over here right and I use one, one of my adrenaline bars you're gonna get beat mm. so that's the thing you have hopefully how this works you know as a dev you put things in and you have certain intentions but the implementation or how people use that may turn out to be different especially in a competitive environment mm -hmm. but the intention was if intention doesn't matter this ain't we ain't talking about feelings nigga you know that that shit matters with bitches nigga you better fix that shit <laughs> you better get them comp players out there earlier i don't know but do y'all know the game's not even done that like niggas are going out there now to finish the game like one week before the game do you know they do gameplay last like last month everything else is supposed to be scenery that's what i heard i've been hearing that for years it, it doesn't even make sense to me like they say gameplay is easy they just dip, dip, dip. <laughs> what the fuck if you're playing real basketball and you're out here at 35 40 feet right as a defender, this is dangerous area for you. In our game, it wasn't dangerous at all because the closer you got, the more body ups you got, right? And as an offensive player, in order to beat that, you had to like damn near point your stick to the baseline, oh I mean, to the sidelines to oh get out of there. But now that's much tighter. And so I wanted to do this video to talk about it because I think when the game first comes out, people who are used to just running into the ball and getting body ups are gonna start sliding off. Mm. And I don't want you guys Defensive sliding confirmed. Leak, 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 leak. I should think, oh, you know, the game's broken or, oh, uh, you know, I'm not playing great defense. You, if you're bodying up, right, let's say we get into this situation, right? Your strength is that I can't go straight, right? But you don't have no strength over here unless you stick match me. And you don't have any strength over here unless you stick match me. Ah, sorry. I'm trying to put it between them, so, right? So body ups are not the all encompassing strength. Guys, honestly, bro, with this system, if it's not really not implemented correctly, like this could like go down as like one of the worst 2Ks. Like <laughs> imagine like never being able to get a bump on a person just cause the whole system's like just broken. Like just someone knows how to do like a crossover and it just, it don't matter. I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. But hopefully it's good, man, so we can have some fun. That they used to be. Your best defensive position is going to be to stay in front, right? And to try to anticipate where he wants to go and get your chest in that position and not just smash body up all the way down the floor. Okay. Now, one thing that I'm not sure of is that once a player becomes, and I'm talking mostly NBA 5-on-5 five five in our game, right? Some of this, hopefully, all of it will translate into your uh, your my career and all of that, all of those other modes, right? One thing that I can't guarantee you today is that uh, somebody will find a build where they get more body ups than we intended, right? That might be the case, but they still got to match your stick direction, and they mm. still have to match you uh, uh, ability wise, also. Okay. So, uh, anytime you're actually in a body up, right? I mean, I mean, based off of how the build system is, I'm sure if you pick Giannis or <laughs> one of these great defenders that no one can even make a lock like that. So, I mean, if, if niggas can't do it to Giannis, like, they wouldn't really be able to do it type shit. Let's get this ball back and see if we can create a situation we could talk about. And it's hard to talk about because this this functions almost completely different. Says right. are you trash, nigga. I ain't gonna hold so, you, bro. In two K twenty three, when you're in these type of body ups as the defender, right? You want to be thinking about when do I stop pushing my stick into him, and when do I push my stick over here? Mm -hmm. Because as the offensive player, if he decides to make an adjustment from here, post and uh, and kind of angle his stick out this way first and then try to beat you on the corner you're probably going to slide off mm. so uh the body ups are not the catch-all that they used to be and you want to be aware of that and play, mm. try to play more position if you find your hey bro this is sounding like defense 
is trash, but they saying it's OP. I'm confused. <laughs> Bro, I'm confused. Yourself getting your doors blown off really consistently. Uh, uh, that's something that you want to watch. Are you playing the angles correctly? Are you gapping guys who can't shoot enough? And are you beating them to the spot, right? So in the old 2K right here, you just run up on him. Get Bro, I feel like I can mentally fucking destroy niggas like on that rock, paper, scissors shit. I ain't gonna hold you. So niggas might be in trouble. Get the body up, body up, body up till he picks up the ball, right? But if you try that in 23, as it's currently tuned, what will end up happening is a smart offensive player will change the direction he's using his left stick and you will get blown past like you'll just slide back off of him here. All right. So we're trying not to reward over aggressive defenders, especially further out on the floor. Mm. You should have to be more cautious out here. But there might be some people with enough stick skill to still give you a lot of problems out here. But offensively, okay. you should have solutions. Okay, um, putting locks back in their place. Okay. Another area with the body ups that we looked at is we made your skill, your your the ability of the players more important than it used to be, right? So before your position was kind of the main thing that made the determination, but now we really look at the ability of the player. So let's say if Jordan has a clamp breaker and the guy defending him does not have clamp breaker and Jordan is better in every other area. Clamp breaker. Dribbling, Wait, is that a badge? You're not going to want to be up here pressuring him. Mm. He's going to eat your lunch. You, you're just going to get beat. You're probably going to get beat back. So uh, mm. keep that in mind when you're looking and you're trying to give us feedback in terms of, well, I think, the, you know, the offense is too powerful, this, that, the other thing. You know, are you just as a defender just sprinting into the defense expecting good results? Right? So these are just some things that you want to consider. I know it only got a line in, or two in the blog, but this is a pretty significant change. Again, as it stands today, these things can change. Numbers could. Damn, they gonna take away this whole feature? I don't know, it seemed a little complex. I don't think y'all niggas can handle it. I ain't gonna hold you. Be adjusted, uh, but as it stands today, uh, the, the key to playing good defense right now is to play position. But this, hypothetically how this is how y'all are saying this it would be great if implemented correctly but i personally don't think y'all can handle it and then be there to challenge the shot and you want to be careful when you're in a body up that you're not letting that offensive player kind of slide right off you because he can uh point his stick you know outside of you and go around you another thing that people might not be aware of is that we our, our body up uh uh calculations are very advanced they consider a plethora of things it's not just uh, a, a dice roll and you get to go or we just look at one or two things so one of the things you want to be aware of if you're a player with great strength right then you don't want to spend your time turbo and left right trying to go around somebody if you have great mm, strength and you got you a got strength plans. advantage you want to come right off of his shoulder because we use different calculations when you're driving at a defender yeah, we than we do it. when you're driving around a defender. We gonna see it. All right, so good. you got a LeBron type build. You got a, a, a you know, anybody who's got a, a power game that got a, a enough handle on the perimeter. You know, you want to take sharper angles going to the basket because it's going to factor in your strength. And a lot of times you probably just, uh, you know, muscle them right out the way, especially if people like to cheese and not give their bills no strength. <laughs> <laughs> so, egg. you know why? Because uh, y'all niggas, y'all niggas never made it matter. <laughs> and never. Again, please keep in mind, I, I want to keep. I'm personally not following for the strength bait. I, I recommend y'all don't either, bro. Um. I say just go for strength minimums that you need for certain requirements. But, uh, hey, nigga, they, they tricked me with that strength shit in 2K18, bro. Shit did not matter. You saying that this nigga, <laughs> Steezo, nigga, I made a max weight play shot. Steezo made a max weight fucking, uh, 6'7 playmaker or some shit, nigga.
Nigga lied. They lied, bro. Lied. This is as the game plays today. Things can change. Uh, uh, you know, by the time this releases, maybe there might be. Some and we knew them shits was risky. We just wanted to test it, bro. Some slight adjustments, but as the game plays today, uh, this is how it. Uh, this is how kind of how it functions. All right, so I just wanted to come out and talk a bit about the body ups that even though it only got a line or two in the blog, it's a pretty significant change to how you'll be uh, uh, asked and required to play defense. I think there's some people in the in the uh, in our chat that have played that can talk about this a little bit. I mean, they don't. So we have people that are, are that are mainly arcade players that want the game to play faster, three on three, like all areas of the game we have people that specialize in rec we got people that specialize in pro-am okay. got people that specialize in three on three Ooh. like you know Cat. my league we Ooh. you know the ai just happens Cat. to be my specialty i work on it so i stay focused on that but don't think that everybody on the team thinks like i do you know what i mean they yeah, don't right. so we have people that are uh, that are mainly arcade players that want Ooh. To who's a mainly arcade player game to play faster you game know what i mean play, so who who wants the game to play who ain't no way ain't no way all the all, almost every opinion that you could have out there is well represented we got people Cat. that only park play thousands of thousands of hours of park who? Right? we got people that play thousands of hours of pro-am so who? you know there's a mixture of opinions it's just everybody's not out here talking to Cat. you but a lot of my stuff is focused on my job which is the ai and when you're playing ai usually you're playing in an nba environment uh personally i'm well aware that a big portion of our fan base likes to play 2k they don't necessarily love basketball on god and you don't know what it'd be a lot of the niggas that claim they love basketball that be wanting a game that isn't basketball three dribble moves half stamina going type shit slow clunky game just because they they don't have the stick skill to compete bro that's not basketball nigga the only reason any of us even playing this shit is because niggas iso bro all our favorite players is iso players mj's an iso player kobe all these niggas flashy quick dribble moves you know the street ball like you know, the highlights. It's like niggas want all that shit out of 2K just because they don't have the stick skill to to, to, to keep up. That's not uh, that's not realistic, bro. These niggas are world-class athletes. 0.001% of people can do what they can do. Why in the fuck are niggas trying to have some slow-ass molasses game? That's not simulation. And so if we can slowly introduce more basketball concepts into the game of 2K, I think both crowds will be better, be, uh, will be happy because we're going to end up with a balanced game. And at the end of the day, I think everybody, regardless of what community you come from, you want a more balanced game, right? You Facts. want a shot to beat oh, the guy across from you or the person across from you. I don't need help with that. I'm, I'm that fucking nigga. I ain't going to hold you. Right, without you know, with the fewest amount of exploits possible. Now we do have a big group uh, uh, community in, that plays our game that loves and enjoys the exploits. Right, so <laughs> you're always going to have that. I think everybody enjoys the exploits. It's just to, to, to the degree, you know. Some some shit's just like just broken, bro. That. But I just wanted to put that out there. So some people saying, well, you know, you may disagree with my opinion. Well, there's people on our team that disagree with some of my opinions. So. We have other people that specialize in other modes, right? But Cat. this is the stuff that I that I happen to work on or have have a little bit of influence in. You know, one thing that really frustrated me, and I still don't think we hit it a hundred percent, but it's way better, is having a quick guard against a center, and he's out there face guard me, and I got to give him thirty moves to get by him. Right, bro? I hate that shit. They should not be able to consider to. My hardest matchups since I first played 2K has been versus centers when they put the center on me. I don't know why, but just like my play style, I don't dribble into people. So it, I guess it's just a weird matchup type shit. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like that just doesn't feel right. So uh, like I said, that's much better. I think we could mm. probably push that a little bit more. Um, the, he, he's saying he want the centers to get cooked. I don't know. Y'all niggas are saying the defense going to get flamed, boy. 
This whole live is about defense getting flamed. That's what you imply it. But I'm hearing other things. As we look at, you know, working through that in the future. So this is interesting. Uh, Sagisi, I think that's the name, says the problem is, though, that the defensive movement is so slow and clunky. Facts. But one of the, <laughs> the um, one thing that it's helpful to understand is that defense has to be concerned with facing. When you're on offense, you don't have to worry about your facing so much, right? You just plant and go. Defensively, are you facing your man? Are you facing help? You know, are you in deny stance? And the change of direction has to affect your spacing sometimes, right? And so people don't mind sliding around on offense because it gives them an advantage, but they don't want to slide around defensively, right? They want foot planting. Well, that's unbalanced. If you slide around on offense, you got to be sliding around on defense too, right? So slowly but surely. I don't care about the fucking, uh, I don't, I don't care about the excuses, my nigga. If you got to have niggas running around like fucking uh, the road runner where their, their legs are just, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You better zap, niggas. Because <laughs> defense is trash, boy. We've improved our defensive movement, but defensive movement is much harder than offensive movement. That's why it's been a little bit behind the offense. Offense is not concerned with his facing at all. He just got to go. Right? So... Having said all that, I think our movement is the best it's been in 2K23. I think you guys mm. will find that. And right now... Movement's best it's been. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk about with that is that's why it's so dangerous when we release the game for people to come out and be like, yo, we want the dribblers faster. If you want faster dribbles and faster launches and faster all this other stuff, you, you, you don't want a balanced game. I mean... That's cap, bro. All you have to do is buff the defense. Look... The things I'm pushing and the things maybe some other people are saying, it already existed. It already existed. So it's not like like this is like crazy. Like 2K16, one of the fastest 2Ks ever, had the best defense in the game. I don't know why. But that's just what it was, nigga. Like it was just different. You could keep up with niggas. It's cat, bro. You don't have to be Einstein to know that uh, it takes a lot for the defense to keep up. So if we love, release the game and the defense is keeping up and y'all like, we want the dribblers faster. No, that's not why people say that. People say that because it's more boring and slow and it's, I can feel it, bro. I can feel when I get on the game and I do a move and I'm just in slow motion. And it just gives him an advantage when I completely cooked him. I completely cooked him bad. And he's there. Right? It's not it's not right. That's boring. It's slow. Um, I remember in 2K21, they were complaining about the speed. They nerfed it, right? It's before niggas even knew about the speed glitch. They nerfed that bitch, right? I would completely beat my man to the inside, right? And he could just catch up. I'll completely beat my man to certain areas and he could just catch up. In that like little millisecond, you could see like I should just be like way open. But I'm just moving so slow that niggas could catch up. That shit is lame. I don't know, bro. Like, no, bro. You know, you're basically asking and, it, and I, I understand the ass, right? But if everything doesn't get faster with it, then you're just asking for exports. Yes, increase the defense. So that's why it's a little difficult defensively. Got to increase the defensive speed. And In my eyes. Bumps and shit like that. But if I kill a nigga, he should be killed. Like, I don't, I don't like that slow molasses shit, boy. Crazy girl, what's going on? Sim Nation in the building, defense. What's happening? Talk to the people, Frank. So yeah, this, is there anything else about the body of someone? I think that was it. But I did want to put that out there again. This is again, you know, an example of, uh, or again, this is how the game plays today. This could change by the time you get your hands on it. I think this is a pretty good example was talking about the difference between in 22 and before, right? When you get into this animation right here, as a defender, you could feel pretty solid, right? Because you know he's not going to get no. around you. That's cap. Uh, you always get this animation where you could go dunk or lay it up right there. It's like a blow by type shit. That's not the case in 23. From here, he could 
you're in a bad position. Look at this. So blow bys right? are even more OP? The this only thing that's saving position. you right now is the fact that the body up is holding you, right? But if we take that crutch away, right? So if you have the uh, defensive shading, which zone is he in? He's far right. If I point my stick directly at the basket or over here, you're done, right? This is no longer a strength move for you. You're done. So instead of this contested layup, he's all the way to the basket. This how you niggas in rec be playing, right? Y'all niggas be taking shit up like this. And then y'all be having the nerve to like share your opinions about 2K. It's crazy. Getting to the basket, finding my horn with a little dish off. If Pip rotates down, then we find, uh, uh, who is that? Aguirre. I don't have my glasses on. Out here for three. So again, it's a subtle difference, but it is a difference. So when you see five slide off, don't get mad. You was in a bad position. <laughs> and I know I'm trying to warn y'all about this, but I still think people are going to be a little upset. People are going to be upset. We, we, I don't want to say we brought back. It's always been there, but maybe not to this degree. It's the concept of a neutral body up, right? Okay. So you're going to see more neutrals this year where the offensive player can still drive, but the defensive player is still in position and neither one of them is out of position at the end of that particular body up, right? So we want to see more neutrals instead of just pure losses, unless of course you're in great defensive position, right? So we always want to reward that too. So don't think of blow buys as, oh, I left him in the dust. You know what I mean? Sometimes you'll get these neutrals where it'll be up to you and your, your decisions as you have that neutral as to what happens next. So you should see more neutrals in the body ups this year when there's not a clear advantage either way or you guys match sticks perfectly, et cetera. Okay. In, 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 in current basketball, yeah, neutrals should happen, you know, a good bit. Unless you're out of position, right? You're, you're mismatched horribly. Uh, but I think it's something that you could feel uh, as soon as you start playing the game, right? Yeah, Spatial's right. Uh, I know we were having a lot of fouls. We had so many fouls that people were complaining. The people that came up to test the game had made a complaint about that, so the fouls are, might be rolled back, so I don't know what the final... Mm, the people that came to test the game complained about having too many fouls. God damn. Why the fuck they put a bunch of fouls in the game? ...version of the fouls will end up being... It's probably going to be a lighter version of that. When I be playing wreck, I don't Now, the better the player, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the more defensive wins you'll have. Like, ever. it's going to be easier for Kawhi Leonard to get a defensive when win in a dunk, body up than it is. When I go to dunk, I don't ever get fouled, bro. But it seems like every time I try to do a bump steal and I'm in the perfect position, that bitch a foul in the wreck. I don't know. It's for somebody who doesn't have clamps or stuff. But I be on the little nigga, so... Stuff like that all the stuff we have of course you filter it down through player and player types and what badges they have and what are their attributes and all of that right so you know yeah going against Kawhi is going to be much harder right you're, you're probably going to get stopped a lot more okay probably less neutrals more losses Kawhi Bill League 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 OP and it's something you can kind of feel when you're playing when you're playing a guy that shouldn't be matched up with you you know what I mean you're going to see more help uh, uh, in terms of your your ability to beat him off the dribble and get into help and to create some some havoc on that back line. Oh, again, blogs, all this stuff that we do and that we write Another up these disclaimer. were our design intentions, right? After you guys get it and try to break it, it may end up being different. You know what I mean? Why don't you just have comp people play the game like for like two whole weeks, like? eight hours a day type shit like and pay them niggas or just one week eight hours a day like you don't think <laughs> uh, our desires and what we thought we implemented may not be may not uh you know be what we thought it was after you guys get in there and start breaking shit up so we'll see there's always that that implementation period but as it stands today, and we've had people come in and play, right? So the gameplay has stood up thus far. But we'll see. You know what's so crazy, bro? If devs actually watch my videos or my streams, like, I be flaming y'all niggas. Y'all niggas gotta hate me. I've suggested things like, 
league players going out there and they they be doing that shit they be flying out certain creators now and you know it's like i don't know bro i don't know i should be on the payroll if y'all niggas is doing what i'm saying all time trail says defense makes or breaks a 2k i don't think so when i when scissor you don't know what you're talking about it does when I hear people talk about the best 2Ks, it's always what they could do offensively. No, the best 2Ks defensively, bro. Right. The best 2Ks have had the best defense. So I'm not, I'm just saying my opinion, right? I'm sure there are people that where the, the defense makes or breaks it, but for some people it's how much fun they had when they were playing offense. They really don't care. <laughs> They're weird bots. Them niggas are NPCs. They don't count. Not playing no defense. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas is weird. Uh. Niggas, niggas sitting here dexing with a stretch big, like trying to like ha talk about the game. Like they, they, bro. I remember that shit, bro. There's even ISO players, nigga. You know, ISO players that I birthed ran with my wave. Defending stretch bigs just because they ran with a stretch big on the twos. Like, bro, trying to tell me to play better defense. Nigga, shut your stupid ass up, you fucking idiot. This isn't fucking basketball. A nigga sitting here dexing, shooting over people. Fucking 80% in nigga's face. Man, shut your goofy ass up. That's a stretch big. A stretch big is a stationary object that shoots, nigga. He don't shoot like that, boy, in real life. The fuck was wrong with niggas? Them niggas was zigzagging, running point. I don't know. Niggas was weird, bro. That's when the community was at war. When Stretch Biggs was OP. And then look. They not OP. Community's more at peace. I told you, niggas. One month out, man. Man, there's some information that uh, they got coming out. I can't wait for y'all to hear. Especially for the folks in Post scores. Sim Nation. Uh, I cannot wait to hear what y'all had to say when y'all see this stuff, man. Sim Nation. Uh, I just say it's a hell of a year to have tight gameplay. Have what gameplay? Tight gameplay? Hey, when y'all see this stuff, man. Uh, I just say it's a hell of a year to have tight gameplay. That's tight. all I'm gonna say. Until next time, it's your man Desar, the president of the Sim Nation. Tight. What well, they probably talking about that stamina shit, lame ass niggas. Fuck you, niggas. Anywho, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. I'll be covering all the best builds, best dribble moves. All the 2K23 news, hilarious toxic gameplay. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. It helps out the video a lot. Turn on them notice. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for witness. Hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.